Hi there. My name is Eric Chappell, Civil Community Evangelist for Autodesk, and I'd like to talk to you today about what's new in Autodesk InfraWorks 360. For today's discussion, we'll talk about five areas where you're going to see major improvements in InfraWorks 360. We'll start with how there's more and more design context in this latest release. We'll discuss some extreme interoperability announcements that have to do with InfraWorks 360 working along with other Autodesk products. As we continue with this new release, you'll see more and more detailed engineering capabilities. A major feature announcement with mobility simulation. And then finally, big news about the user interface of InfraWorks 360, what I'm calling a user interface power-up. This is more than just a minor change. And then we have a little bonus feature to talk about at the end, kind of just for fun. Let's begin talking about how there's more and more design context capabilities in this latest release of InfraWorks 360. You'll enjoy some model builder improvements. First, you'll notice that the vector data coming from model builder with an update to the OpenStreetMap data store for this service is more accurate and more dense than ever before. Take a look at the sample images from an old InfraWorks 360 model created with Model Builder and the same area with the newly available Model Builder data. Big difference, much more dense data available, and you can see that by the number of buildings that are in the lower image. You'll also notice that the terrain data that Model Builder generates is more accurate than it's ever been before. We've made some changes in the background about how we process that data, and the results are proving to be very positive. By the way, if you're still on an old version of InfraWorks 360, a really old version prior to fall of 2014, you're going to find that Model Builder basically doesn't work in that older version. So you're going to want to update your software. The good news is, if you've got InfraWorks 360 on subscription, that update is included in the charge, so no extra cost to you to get your software up to date. Why is all this important? The update to the OpenStreetMap data and the more accurate terrain data? This means you have more robust context and more confidence in the accuracy of that context to use as the backdrop for your design. In the last update to InfraWorks 360, you gained the ability to do overlays of raster images. Now it gets even better. You can now overlay DWG files in your InfraWorks 360 model. So all of those thousands of CAD drawings that you have around that were maybe created in Civil 3D or AutoCAD or some other AutoCAD-based product can now be shown very quickly and easily in your InfraWorks 360 model. If you're familiar with how the raster overlays worked, the DWG overlays work very similar. You have full control over the location and scale and rotation of the DWG overlay, and then you have correlation tools where you can match different points in the DWG overlay to align it with your model. You can control the opacity so that you can see through that DWG if you need to, and you can even control the display order. So if you have multiple overlays in your model, you can control which one shows above the other. Why is this important? It allows you to show your readily available CAD data in your model very easily. In this next section, we'll cover extreme interoperability. For example, you can simply right-click a bridge in InfraWorks 360, one that was created with the bridge design tools, and select the Send to Revit option. InfraWorks 360 will automatically process that bridge information, create Revit families and other content that it needs, and send that information to Revit. It'll even open the Revit application for you, and you can jump in and start completing your detailed design. As we zoom in and take a look at the model that was created, we see that this isn't just a solid image of a bridge. This is a functioning design, and it's made up of individual components, such as girders, piers, even bearings, and even bridge rails are included in this model, all of which you can design and modify within the Revit environment. Why is this important? It allows you to easily move from preliminary to detailed design, in this case in the 
design of bridges, it also shows Autodesk's commitment to continually improving the interoperability between our products. In another example of extreme interoperability, when you open roundabout information in Civil 3D, not only does it automatically become a corridor model, it also becomes a functioning vehicle tracking roundabout, meaning that you can use the Autodesk vehicle tracking tools to continue your detailed design of that roundabout. Again, why is this important? It's the ability to easily move from preliminary to detailed design. In this case, because of interoperability between InfraWorks 360 and Civil 3D. And again, to show Autodesk's commitment to continually improving the interoperability between our products. Now let's discuss the topic of more and more detailed engineering capabilities. As you know, InfraWorks 360 has developed with each new release in its ability to create more complex and engineering related designs. This release is no exception. When you design things like complex interchanges, you're going to find that greater complexity is possible, especially when designing merges and diverges and weaving lanes. This includes on-ramps and off-ramps that are multiple lanes. You'll also find that the roundabout editing that we improved in the last release has gone even a further step, now making it easier and more efficient than ever to design roundabouts. Why is this important? It allows you to quickly achieve the designs you need, eliminating the need for workarounds or having to settle for a design that isn't quite what you were hoping for. You'll also find some improvements in the area of traffic simulation, namely in the form of support for more configurations. This includes on and off ramps, center turn lanes, and offset roundabouts. Why is this important? It means that you can analyze the flow of traffic in more configurations than ever before, allowing this technology to be applied to more of your projects. Now let's talk about mobility simulation, the addition of an entire feature set in InfraWorks 360. With the mobility simulation tools, you are able to analyze multiple modes of transportation at once. This includes taxi, transit, ride sharing, walking, and cycling. With this analysis, you can create animations which allow you to communicate your results with others. All in all, this allows you to determine the economic and environmental impacts of changes that you're making in a part of the city where multiple modes of transportation are being used for people to travel into, out of, and within the city. Why is this important? It allows you to solve complex mobility problems and make important decisions early in the project. Next, let's talk about our user interface power-up. The reason I'm calling this a power-up is because this is a major change to the user interface, introducing the contextual stack. The contextual stack appears on the right side of your screen by default. You can move it wherever you like and it replaces many of the individual asset cards and dialog boxes that you have used to modify or look at information for many different parts of your model. So we've combined all that into one user interface component. It's context sensitive so it responds to what you select in the model. And you can make it persistently available so that you're not constantly opening and closing dialog boxes and asset cards. The best part about it is it's highly customizable. You can control what properties and groups of properties are visible for specific object types. You can even take the panels and move them out into the model area, making them easier to get to. And finally, it's dockable. You can pin it to the side of your screen. When you move your cursor away from it, it rolls up and out of the way. And when you need it, it pops out. Why is this important? It allows you to design and work faster with a tool that you can customize and streamline just for you. And let's talk about one more new bonus feature just for fun. Introducing the new InfraWorks 360 product logo. So now that you've seen all these new features, I bet you're wondering, how do I get my hands on this new update of InfraWorks 360? There are a few different ways. If you're a current customer, check Application Manager. 
you should find the update to InfraWorks 360 listed here and you can simply launch the installation from there. If you don't have Application Manager installed or if you're not sure how to use it, you can simply go to manage.autodesk.com and download the update where you download your other Autodesk products. And if you're not a customer and you want to try InfraWorks 360, you can download the latest version as a free 30-day trial by going to autodesk.com slash InfraWorks. So go out and get this latest update right now so that you can begin designing and communicating your projects with greater efficiency and capability than ever before. Once again, this is Eric Chappell, Civil Community Evangelist for Autodesk. Thank you for watching.